you must have often heard these two words real gdp and nominal gdp i must admit this may get confusing sometimes don't worry we are here to help hello friends welcome to i exam b i welcome you all to another video of k y c that is know your concepts where we try to let you understand basic economic and financial concepts in short videos before starting right away on real gdp and nominal gdp you must know what gdp is if you have not watched our video on gdp yet you can find the link at i button just a recap gdp is the combined value of all finished goods and services that are produced in a country during a year let's take an example now in a hypothetical situation australia produced only four cookies in the year 2019 If the value of each cookie is twenty-five rupees, the total GDP of Australia for that year will be twenty-five into four, that is hundred rupees. Simple, isn't it? Now in twenty twenty, Australia produced the same four number of cookies. However, the market price for those cookies increased from twenty-five to thirty. So the total GDP would logically be thirty into four, one twenty rupees. So can we say that Australia's GDP increased by 20% between 2019 and 2020? The short answer is no. As the name suggests, GDP or gross domestic product is more about production and less about money. Irrespective of the prices, the production of Australia remains the same during these two years. That is, four cookies. When we calculate Australia's GDP on 2019 value. we will get 25 into 4 100 rupees it is the real gdp and the gdp at the current prices that is 120 rupees is what we call nominal gdp to be precise if the six blocks represent a nominal gdp once we remove the price rise or inflation block that is in orange what we get is real gdp now let's have a look at india's real gdp and nominal gdp figures For the last three financial years, remember the figures shown here are in lakh crores, and the real GDP is calculated on the price levels of 2011 and 12. As you can see, the nominal GDP for the year 2020-21 stands at 197 lakh crores, whereas the real GDP stands at 135 lakh crores. The significant gap between the two denotes inflation. I hope you are now in a better position with respect to real and nominal GDP. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell to be updated with our content. This is Amit signing off.